Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I have shown you how to use classes and objects in C++. And I have also shown you how you can access your member variables in your main function using objects. Now in this video, I am going to show you a good practice to access your member variables in your main function. In the last video, I have shown you, you can use this public access specifier to access functions or variables in your main function. It works correctly, but it's not a good practice to access your member variable of a class directly in your main function because you always want to protect your variable and you don't want that other user would be able to change these variable contain content. So now in this video, I'm going to show you the concept of setter and getter functions to access the variable indirectly uh, in your main function. So I will delete this and this declaration. And I have the basic declaration of this book class. And I have the basic declaration of book object here. Now, in the last video, I've shown you how you can use this public access specifier. In this video, I'm going to show you this private access specifier. And what this private means is your whatever you declare under this private access specifier, all those member will be private to a class. And you cannot use these member variables on member functions outside your class. So I will declare a variable called string variable. So I will add one more library called include string. Okay. And this, what this string uh, class will do is it will help us to declare string variables. So there is something called string and I will name my string as name. So this will be the book name, right? And this string is just like character array, but it is handled more easily or efficiently, right? So string is nothing but just writing the book name is. You can give the value to the string like this is equal to like this. Okay. So string is nothing but the string of the word. Right. Now this is our private member of this book class. And how can I access this uh, name in my member uh, main function? Because this is a private and I cannot use this name variable outside my class. I have already told you. So let me declare the setter and getter function for it to access the name variable indirectly. So what I will do is I will declare a, declare a function called void set name and in here I will pass this string variable and I will call it for example x right and what I'm going to do here is I will say my name which is my private member of a class is equal to x so what I'm doing is indirectly copying the whatever I will I will give here as a set variable. It will just copy the content of x to my name, right? And there is something called get function. So I will write get name and this get name will res return the value of name. Okay. So this will return the name. So name data type is string. So it will return string. And it's just returning this name. So just write 
return name okay so they, this these two are called setting and getting of your member variable setter getter function in easy words and what it, these two functions does is it enables us to access the content of your private member name using these public function set at and get names now i will show you how you can use the set and get names in your main function so you already have this object called book one which we derived from book class right and we can call the set function so i will say book one dot set name and inside this set name we can set any name to our book so i will say set name to the book c++ tutorials okay and now i want to access so what this does is when i whenever i pass the string to the set function it has this uh, string here and it just copies this string to your name variable which is my private variable right now private is assigned the value c++ tutorial indirectly right and now in order to get or in order to print this value what i can do is i can use book one dot get name and what this get name does is it just return the value of name so we are indirectly accessing the value of name and returning it so let's print this value i will write c out and i will just copy this function here and paste it here because it's returning the string right so it will return the value we have assigned here and i will say and l and when i compile this program it will be compiled and now we are going to run this program and we see that we are able to access this name variable using this book dot get name so this is the good practice to use or to access private member variables of class using get and set functions so just always uh, remember this practice whenever you need to declare a variable inside class try making them private right as far as possible try always declare the member variable private and try to access these variable using set and get class so you will never mess up uh, in c++ i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now